Bum, ba -da, ba -da. Hello everybody, this is Bone Gaming here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a uh, another game called Brink. Uh, shut up here. Uh, now, uh, Brink basically is a parkour style, I want to say. it's a. It, some of you people may know what it is, some of you won't. But for those of you who don't, this is mainly a parkour style, um, how do I put it? It's kind of like Call of Duty and um I honestly want to say Battlefield really put together cuz you get like the realistic like sliding over things and all that of Battlefield but then you've got like the um Whatever you want to take from Call of Duty, I don't know. But basically, so in this game, I have played it already, so I'm not going to bother showing you guys the uh, intro sequence that you have to go through, which does get pretty annoying. But I do have two lovely characters right here. Uh, Thubita. So basically I'm going to do use this one because I've already used this one before and I've gained quite a bit of leveling from him. Like I already have over 10,000 XP. So basically this character, um, really what it is is you can play through three different modes. You have campaign, you have free play, and then you have challenges. Campaign is obviously you play through the campaign. Now the best part about Brink is that it does something that Call of Duty and Battlefield don't do, you can play on two sides. Like, you can choose to play the campaign of these people, or you can play the campaign of these people. And yes, you can play them both. The only difference is you're kind of sort of going through the same exact levels on both sides. It's just that you really only have different objectives, is really what it is. Um, and you have a different storyline on top of that. Or really have a different story viewpoint. So basically, the uh, idea of the idea of Brink is um, there's this thing called the Ark. Because what happened was, on all the continents, everything got flooded. Like the water, the water level started to rise. And so basically, people built the Ark to come above the water level, and it became a refuge for people. Basically, um, these people right here, these guys are the resistance. What what it is is like these guys don't agree with the whole staying together thing. They want to go and see who else might be left alive because there might be other people on other islands that are still there despite the water levels. And so they want to go and look. Well, the other guys, the security, are like, well, you see here. That's no bueno over here. No. No, no bueno. No. You are not going to see whoever the hell is in freaking Kumbaya land. I don't even know. I don't know. I'm stupid. But, uh... <laughs> Kumbaya land. Hell. What is that? <laughs> anyway, so basically I'm going to be playing as the Resistance. I've already played the first level. And really, it doesn't matter what order you play it in. Because, I mean, really, the intro sequences aren't really that... Habita. So it really doesn't matter. So I can literally play a second mission, and you guys really want to tell the difference between the first one. That I've already done. So basically, but before I do that, in order to give you guys an idea of how the game works, I'm going to play a challenge parkour this. Where basically, um, I might as well show you my character as well. So basically, you can change your character's appearance, which is one thing that's totally different. But you do do that in Battlefield. You can change your parent character's appearance in Battlefield. The only difference is, is that you can only change your outfit color in Battlefield. As far as I know, I'm not really sure. I haven't played them all, so I really can't say. But in this one, you get to change the exact look. So it's almost like Skyrim in that order. Except you can't, like, modify it yourself. You have to slick presets, really. And then you've got, well, your swapped here. We're gonna, just gonna leave that there, you know. Okay, and then you've got your weapons. Your weapon menu. I already got my weapons picked out, so I'll be using those. Then you have your abilities. So now, basically my abilities are, I can, um... 
uh, I have a little extra life health, which um, I you guys will see whenever I start playing the game. I have a little bit extra, so I can take a little bit more damage. And uh, this one, I'll explain this to you guys whenever I actually get into um, one of the challenges. So basically, this is my supply meter. It's originally, it's normally going to be down in my bottom left corner screen. So basically what this allows for is, um, like, I mainly go with classes, because you got classes, you've got your soldier, your medic, your engineer, and operative, almost like Battlefield in that arena, in that area, I should say. Um, so you got your classes, and basically this, let's say if I were a medic, I could, I have the little revive syringe, and basically what this does is there's a certain amount of times that I can use it over a certain period of time, if that makes sense. So basically, like, I can buff my own health, and then I can revive other people. Now, I can only do that a maximum of three times, but with this, I can do it a maximum of four before having to wait until all four are filled again. And on top of that, I had those meter, those little things, they're called pips. I call them, we, we call them pips in this game. So basically, I have four pips. Now, I use those pips to buff my own health, buff someone else's health, revive people, and to throw grenades or whatever special explosive thing that I have. And then this combat intuition, whenever someone's aiming at me, or whenever there's an enemy looking in my direction, it's almost like, um, I haven't really used the perk, so I'm not sure if I'm saying the right perk, but it's almost like Sixth Sense from Black Ops 3, whenever you can detect other people. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, I believe that Sixth Sense, where you can detect other people if I'm wrong. Y feel free to correct me, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't know things. Anyway, and then I have a sense of perspective. Okay, so I'll explain that while I'm doing the challenge. So basically, a um, sense of perspective is like... Um, if I'm doing a certain objective, like repairing something, I can look around in a 3D person view, which I can't do if I'm not using this perk. So basically with this uh, challenge, parkour this, it puts me in a body type. Now there's three body types, you got heavy, medium, light, I'm pretty sure you guys can piece together things. So this type gives me the light type. Now I've already done three stars on this, so that's why I'm doing this again. So basically I have to climb a whole bunch of obstacles and stuff to get to panels that I need to be at. So when I have a certain amount of time to do it, been a while since I've done it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to succeed in this again, like I did last time. But you guys will get the idea of the way that the game works, really. This challenge tests your Don't care. Alright, so basically, jump up here, come down here, crouch under here, jump up here, jump up here, run right over here, crouch under there, jump up onto this Fence, balance, 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 jump over here, and we're going to, yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to do this, <laughs> it's been way too long, and this is like three stars, so, great, I'm glad to know that there are four left. Okay, let's see, can I jump? There we go. Three left. Ten seconds left, brothers. Two left. Brothers, we must be true. Yeah, I'm not making Five, this. Four, three, two, one. Yeah, Final no. One. I was down to the last one, though. You see, so basically that's how kind of like the parkour setting works. So you get a lot of parkour to do. A lot. So, I am going to go back to the main menu. And so basically, I'm going to now play a free play mode, actually. So, let's see, I'm going to do the match settings. Let's see, team size. I can change the team size. I don't really care. Let's see, I am going to... Yep, that's all we need from there. Map. We are going to do... Any map, I don't care about the map. 
Um, objective mode, one team is offense, one team is defense. And stopwatch mode, teams take turns, playing off since they have two minutes. Okay, yeah, no. We're just going to play objective mode. Alright, let's do this. Alright, I don't know what map this is. So basically what made me do this video is, um, I was explaining it to my friend Ghost Sniper one day. I was like, so have you ever heard of the game Brink? Because it's really fun and I would love it if we could play it together. Uh, he doesn't have it though. So basically this video is more or less meant for anyone who knows what it is, plus for Ghost Sniper to see. But this is a very, like, I like this game. It is pretty fun. I'm gonna skip the intro for now. It begins in five, four, three, two, one. And start. Operatives, hack the ventilation system. Today we end it all. So basically, you can, as I'm pretty sure you can see down the left bottom of the corner of my screen, you've got four little pit bars. Plus, you can pull up this little scroll wheel. So basically, right now I'm an operative. So I'm going to do operative things, like escorting people and reviving people if need be. In which case, I will be let know if someone needs to be revived. Let's see, like right over there was just a revive symbol, but he died completely. So basically, whenever you die, you go into a, an incapitation mode, which you can't shoot or anything, but you are on the ground and you are able to be revived. However, if you are shot or meleeed while you're on the ground, you die completely. Like right there, you see that guy, and about to die. No. Let's buff my health real quick. Boom. So one thing that you need to know about this game is there is only one rule that absolutely needs to be followed, and that is never, ever stop moving. You do not want to stop moving. You want to keep moving no matter what. Now right now it may look like I'm camping, which I am in a way, but I'm still moving around in a way. No! Stop that. Ooh, I got my ammo refilled. Sweet! Someone needs a medic. Well guess what? I don't care. You guys can be a team player, I'm not gonna be one this time. I know what happened last time I was a team player. There, see? Like that. I ran over the dude that was knocked down and killed him. See, throw a grenade. No, 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 Get off that. Off. Off. No. Bad. No. Oh no, I got knocked down. Crap. No! No! Get the medic off of- get, get the freaking douchebag off the thing. No, get the engineers off of it! No! No! Engineers, you better stay off of that. Engineers, I'm coming for you! If you don't get off of that, I'm going to come for you. So basically, while you're sitting here sprinting like I am, um, you do a little thing, there's a thing called smart technology, where basically as you're sprinting, you Enemy automatically jump, slide under things while you're sprinting, so it makes for good use, like right now I'm sprinting at this, it automatically makes me jump over, I don't have to hit X or anything like that, or like I'm sprinting across that, I didn't have to hit X to jump up that, you know. Whoa, 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 okay. Jesus, I got knocked down there. Alright, so this time I'm going to swap over to the uh, operative. Alright, 
Okay. Hey, how you doing? Ooh, he buffed my weapon, thank you. Uh, where is my command post? Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna change over to operative. And then I can plant a ha hack box on a ventilation system. So basically this entire game is just objective based. There is no like team death match or anything like that. It's just straight up objective. So this is this actually makes some pretty good uh, practice for um Yeah, see, look. You see, basically, I can look around. Five minutes left, brothers. They killed our hack box. Plan another. I'll go with you. Yeah, I see, like that orange thing right there. Tells me that there's someone right behind me or whatever. So basically now I am a enemy. So what you just you guys just saw me do is I just disguised myself as an enemy too. So basically no one's going to shoot me, but I can't do anything otherwise my um and see, like that, like that. That's exactly what I can do. And then watch, I can disguise myself as this guy. And see, now I'm disguised, so if anyone comes up here, I'm gonna straight up smack them off of it, and they won't know. They won't know a thing. Now, these guys are too stupid, so they ain't gonna know that I'm an enemy. Like, these guys won't fire me, even though they see that I'm not firing at these guys, but. You know. <laughs> and when it comes to this hack box, I'm knocking them straight off. That's what I'm doing. Anyone tries to knock this thing off, I'm gonna smack him right off and shoot him. Yeah, see, like, but that other way, that was someone just buffed my health, so that'll let me survive longer. Ah! Uh -uh. Get off! Off! Making quite a bit of progress here. We're at 83 percent. Okay, 85. Oh my, that's rising. That's what she said. Enemy spotted. No my, that's rising. That's what she said. I Definitely what she die. said. The area. Ow! I got shot. Ow! I'm still getting hit. Ah oh, man. Ah! Uh -uh. Get off of that. Bye. Time's running out, brothers. Check your objectives. Fire! I'll go with the other. Active ventilation system. Can I have another health buff before? Never mind. <laughs> I got just teabagged over there. You can't teabag unless you're standing over the enemy you've killed. That's not how teabagging works, buddy. You gotta be standing over the enemy that you No, 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 that's not necessary. No, 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 get away, get away from our thing. Oh my, that's not wrong. I'll guard the area. I don't care though. No, get, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, no. No. Alright, let's disguise ourselves as this guy, just in case. Alright, never mind, we got it done. Next objective. I have no clue what this objective is either. Guard the reactor? 
Okay, so we gotta keep this reactor over here, whatever the hell that is, from being destroyed. You gotcha. Going for the house, come on, folks! Mine planted! Taking the house, come on, folks! Yep, do 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 You end up running out of ammo pretty fast in this, to be honest. May not seem like it, but you do. Alright, let's do some more disguising. Ooh, this guy's suit looks actually kind of nice. <clears throat> so now, whenever a soldier who carries a bomb on him, whenever they walk up to this thing, and try to plant a bomb on it, I'll just knock him right off. In which case, I might as well be a mechanic for this, but... Because if they put it on there, only a mechanic can take it off. Don't you shoot at me. Ow! Excuse me! Another thing? Don't charge the enemy like I did. I'm pretty sure you guys saw what happened there. Pretty stupid idea. And also, I'm not going to tell you why, but don't go towards an enemy spawn point. Trust me. You don't want to do it like Call of Duty or Battlefield. You don't want to be in their spawn. I'm not going to tell you why. I might accidentally do it at some point. But you do not want to know. Me. Wait, what? Guard the HE charge? Oh! So wait, we're blowing it up? Oh! I did not know that, otherwise I would have done it way sooner. Bandit spotted. Nah, you don't throw grenades at me. I throw grenades at you. Alright, well that makes my job a lot easier then. So I don't need a mechanic, I can still be an operative and just... Jesus! Going for the supply command! <laughs> <laughs> I told you to do this. This, this wasn't the plan. I never meant you to do it. It was a bluff! We were bluffing! I said threaten to, not to actually do it! What were you thinking? Oh, I wasn't actually supposed to do it. <laughs> you just said it was only meant that we were bluffing. I didn't actually mean to do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Ooh, I unlocked the heavy body type. Ooh, my, I unlocked a lot of crap. Scavenger, adrenaline boost, gearhead, homing beacon, metabolism, Nerves of steel, armor piercing ammo, extra Kevlar, flash bangs, light turrets, audio log. I don't care about the audio log. Let's go to our appearance, because that's what I want to know. Body type. Heavy. Oh my lord, I am huge. Swap over. Oh my god. I wonder what would happen if I were to put on the tank. Because the outfit that I'm about to wear is called the tank. So let's we get the tank. We get the tank vest. I'm gonna wear the tank period. See the tank. Face paints war paint. Nah. Face gear, okay, so we can do the shield, we can do the unit, the unit, the unit, <laughs> or the bug. Oh my, let's do the bug, because that, that just looks, <laughs> the face of that. Let's 
Let's look at the shield down here. Oh my god, that is huge. That's what she said. Again. Okay, let's do the shield for that. And what does the bug look like on you? I could do the bug. I could do the... Nah, I'm not going to do the shield. I'm going to do the bug. This is our heavy type. Let's go back over to the resistance. And the G. <laughs> this is called the G. Like we're nothing. Oh yeah. Woo. That tattoo though. That's a lot larger than last time. And again, that's what she said. There's no option for nothing, luckily. Let's just be glad here, there ain't no option for nothing. The dude. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, let's go with this. Yeah. <laughs> My guy looks so stupid now because of this. So basically now having this guy, I can do a whole lot more stuff, which I will show in a moment. So let's go over to my medic. Um... Let's see here, let's you make a teammate's health regenerate at a faster rate than normal, the effect remains to die, you cannot administer this to yourself, okay. Buff a teammate, blah blah blah. And you can't self-administer it, okay? Okay. Um. Alright, let's do increase supply. So basically what this does is it increases my pips by yet another pip. So basically now because of this, I have access to heavy weapons. Or at least I should. Uh, let me, oh yeah, you see, you got a uh, got lung minigun. <sighs> really, really got lung. <sighs> By completing tower defense two star, so I'm going to do the challenge tower defense because I want to. So basically, first let me check out my weapons because I'm going to need different weapons for this. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> holy crap, the shotgun's damage. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's customize you. I do not want a silencer on that. Yeah, never mind. We can't customize you yet. Okay, you are officially my new weapon. I love it. Alright, that's also what she said. Yes, guys, I'm going to make I'm gonna be making these jokes the entire time. Can I equip, yeah, I can equip this shotgun, but I mean, this shotgun freaking sucks. Um, let's see here. Yeah, let's go shotgun style, because it can. Alright, now that we got that, let's do tower defense one time. I'll do it one star. Challenge if you guys want to see more of this, just so you know, um, I will do some more. And if you guys do want to see more of this, the next time you see a video like this, I will have the two star tower defense completed with the Gotlung minigun unlocked. So this way you guys can see me use a minigun. Now I'm pretty sure you guys remember the last time I used a minigun. 
I went absolutely crazy with it. This challenge tests your ability to defend static positions. The lights At above least, the door will I believe I made a video whenever I was using a minigun, but I'm not really sure. Okay, so what am I doing again? Oh. Well, let's Going start. Going to the command post. First, capture the command post. Capturing the health command post. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at the size of me. <laughs> Jesus. I've captured the health command post. Now defend the command post against enemies attempting to recapture it. Place turrets and mines to defend routes and areas. Can you not with the whole frag thing? Wow. Enemy wave defeated. The wall mounted <laughs> indicator me. device will show how many waves you have successfully repelled. Yeah, no, you're coming up here to me, buddy. We ain't doing that. And another thing, you can't lay down unless someone forces you to. Look out. Another wave is incoming. Ooh, yeah, another kill with a landmine, boys. Plant Mine planted! Well, you stay right away from me. Ow. Oh, you're... Basically, all I have to do is just pre prevent this from being captured. Enemy spotted! You suck at shooting. Well done. Another wave dealt with. Yep, another wave dealt with. Next wave! Next enemy, please. Enemy spotted! Well done. Stage complete. Now, you will face two waves at the same time. Two? What? So I have to do wave one and wave two at the same time? Oh, that seems actually pretty enemy easy. Enemy spotted! <laughs> it said to flung that one. Like that. That's the only way that you can lay down, basically. And even then, it's not really lying down. Get out of there! What, buddy? No, I'm coming for you. Get over here. Next. Enemy spotted. 
knocking him down. Congratulations. Stage complete. Now, you must fight off three waves at the what? same time. I thought we used it stage complete. Okay. Thanks for the BS. You get out of here. Next. Hey, come on. Let's go. Get, get out of here. Where did the one guy go? Oh, I guess he tried to blow me up. Many more left to go now. Not many more. Final attack waves approaching. Okay, so this is the final. Oh, really? You expected that to actually do something? Again? It's like these guys are expected to be able to kill me with that. <laughs> no, it's not how it works. Congratulations. You have successfully defended the command post and completed this challenge. Yay! Alright guys, that's all the time that I have for now. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Moe Gaming playing Brink. Um, if you guys liked, let me know. And um, if you guys want me to do another... I will do so, and I will have the Gat Lung Minigun done by then, in which case it will be harder for me to get done. But, no need to worry from that. I will have it done. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I will leave my second twitter account down in the uh, description below that will be for any q and a questions or suggestions that you may have um... this monday will be uploading my first video of the mystery game of maze runner you guys will only find out on monday and then my word at war with friends will hopefully be on a wednesday anyway thank you all for watching tomorrow is the big day for the mystery game hope you guys are hyped um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, either down in the comments below or in my second Twitter account. Um, and, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And, um, you all have a good one.